his... ...in talking just a few moments ago. Malcolm will be bringing us all the details of John Hutton's announcement shortly, but first. Uh, there's not much sun around at the moment. What a shame. But uh, when it does shine, why not use it to heat your water? Thousands of people are deciding to do just that, paying a lot of money now in order to escape high gas prices in the future. Don't we know about those? Simon's been in Reading to meet one of the fitters who's getting in on the boom, a working lunch viewer. And lucky, it was sunny when they filmed it. After starting up in the business of solar collecting, Andy Baxter has been caught up in a rush of interest, moving from one installation a month to two a week. A couple of things to be clear on. The sun is being used to heat water, not generate electricity. And you have the system in addition to your conventional water heater. Inside, they've been promised that they'll be using water heated by the sun rather than gas by the end of the day. Just explain what you're, you're putting in here. These are evacuated tube collectors uh, and they work on a heat pipe principle. So they gather heat from the sun uh, and transfer it to a manifold with containing water that's running ac across the top. So there's not water in the tube? Not in the tubes, no. They're just a heat pipe that transfer the energy to the top. How much of the customer's water is it going to heat? From now on till September it will heat 100%, except for a cloudy day where you might need to top it up. So pretty much as soon as your central heating goes off, this takes over with your hot water as well, so your boiler is off pretty much the whole of the summer. As well as the panel, there's some equipment to go in the attic and a new hot water tank. First of all, we take out the existing hot water cylinder and uh, we replace it with a larger cylinder with two coils in it. Uh, the first coil is the existing boiler coil that your, your existing heating gas or oil would be heating the water with, and that's these two at the top. And then for solar, we have a, a, a new coil, which is a coil at the bottom, which is dedicated completely to, to being heated by the panel on the roof. And so that allows us to heat water with just solar and not in, interfere with the boiler. Right, and up here, what, what's this? This controls it all, doesn't That's it? right, yes. This mesh measures the, the temperature in the, on the, in the collector on the roof. Uh, and compares it with the temperature at the bottom of the, of the cylinder. And when the two are different, when, the, when it's hotter up, up on the roof, it'll turn a pump on and circulate water through the coil at the bottom of the cylinder. There are 40,000 homes with solar heating and probably 10,000 more this year. So why are people going for the systems? The main thing were, was uh, the thought we might cut our costs, um, but obviously to reduce... Um, carbon emissions is a good thing for all of us these days and also had an eye on the value of the house. We've got some equipment up here that can work at a very high temperature. This is one of the collectors that's being installed and inside it it has a substance which is a bit like antifreeze. It can tolerate getting very cold in the winter time but the point about it is that it can operate at a very high temperature too up to around 170 degrees C, so well above the boiling point of water. And that is how the light from the sun is converted from here into energy that can heat the hot water in the hot water tank. This installation is costing £2,700, and within the industry they say that a standard system setting you back more than 4000 for a family home would be expensive. Well, I have come from an engineering background, so systems are very interesting to me. And personally, we had a, a, an old system put in in the 70s from the last oil crisis on our flat roof. And it had died many years ago, and I was interested to, to figure out how that worked. And in the course of figuring out how it worked, I found out more about the market and more about systems. I talked to other people in the, in the industry, and my suppliers, suppliers of cylinders or suppliers of, of components, are reporting increases of 60% growth over this time last year for the first six months. The consensus in the business is that you'll save between 40 and 70 percent on the hot water bill. So watch out if anyone promises more than that. It's not usually connected to the central heating, so there's no saving there. Here are some contact points which might be useful. The Solar Trade Association, which will give you names of members in your area. It imposes a code of practice on them, worth noting because there have been stories of people being bamboozled by sales patter and the Low Carbon Buildings Programme, which gives access to grants of up to £400 per installation. All these details will be on our website. 